DNA repair. Although genetic variation is important for evolution, survival of the individual demands genetic stability also. Maintaining genetic stability requires not only an extremely accurate mechanism for replicating DNA, but also mechanisms for repairing the many accident lesions that occur continuously in DNA. Most such spontaneous changes in DNA are temporary because they are intermediately corrected by a set of processes that are collectively called DNA repair. Without DNA repair systems, a genome would not be able to maintain its essential cellular functions. Most of them processes four different categories of DNA repair systems, direct repair, excision repair, mismatch repair and recombination repair. First is direct repair. Direct repair systems act directly on damaged nucleotides, converting each one back into its original structure. Only a few types of damaged nucleotides can be redirected directly. One very common type of UV radiation mediated damage. Pyrimidine dimers are repaired by a light dependent direct system called photoreactivation. So in E. coli, the process involves the enzyme called DNA photoase. When stimulated by light with a wavelength between 300 and 500 nm, the enzyme binds to pyrimidine dimers and converts them back to the original monomeric nucleotides. Photoreactivation is a widespread but not universal type of repair. Another example is the repair of O6-methyl guanine which forms in the presence of alkylating agents and is a common and highly mutable lesion. It leads to pair with thymine rather than cytosine during replication. Direct repair of O6-methyl guanine is carried out by O6-methyl guanine DNA methyl transferase which catalyzes the transfer of methyl group of O6-methyl guanine to a specific CYS residue on the same protein. Next is about excision repair. Excision repair involves excision of a segment of the polynucleotide containing a damaged site followed by resynthesis of the correct nucleotide sequence by a DNA polymerase. These pathways fall into two categories, base excision repair. Base excision repair involves removal of damaged nucleotide base, excision of a short piece of polynucleotide and resynthesis with the DNA polymerase. It is used to repair many minor damage like alkylation, deamination resulting from exposure to mutagenic agents, enzyme DNA glycosylase initiates the repair process, RN DNA and glycosylase do not cleave phosphodiester bonds but instead cleave N glycosidic bonds. Liberating the altered base and generating an apurinic or an apyrimidinic site both called AP site. The resulting AP site is then repaired by an AP endonuclease repair pathway. All cells have endonucleases that attack the sites left after the spontaneous loss of single purine or pyrimidine residues. The AP endonucleases attack the sites left after the spontaneous loss of single purine or pyrimidine residue. The AP endonucleases are vital to the cell because spontaneous depurination is a relatively frequent event. The enzyme induces an chain breaks by cleaving the phosphodiester bonds at AP sites. The bond cleavage initiates an excision repair process mediated by three further enzymes, an exonuclease, DNA polymerase 1 and DNA ligase. Then deaminated C, uracil DNA glycosylase, DNA helix with missing base, AP endonuclease and phosphodiesterase remove sugar phosphate, DNA helix with single nucleotide gap, DNA polymerase 1 plus DNA ligase. Base excision repair. Then nucleotide excision repair. Nucleotide excision repair is similar to the base excision repair but it is not preceded by removal of the damaged base and can act on both substantially damaged areas of DNA. This repair system including the breaking of a phosphodiester bond on either side of the lesion on the same strand resulting in the excision of a oligonucleotide. This excision leaves a gap that is filled by repair synthesis and a ligase seals the break. Pyrimidine dimer. UERAB binds, then UERBC cuts the polynucleotide either side of the thymine dimer and removal of oligonucleotide by DNA helicase 2. Then DNA polymerase plus DNA ligase, nucleotide excision repair, AUVRA, BUVRB, CUVRC. The UVR systems of excision repair in E. coli is the best studied example. It involves the removal of relatively short, usually 12 nucleotides in length. The key enzyme is made up of three subunits, products of the UVRA, UVRB and UVRC genes. It is called ABC-exynuclease. 
ABC exinuclear binds to DNA at the site of Russian and cleaves the damaged strand at the 8th phosphodized bond on the 5' prime end of the Russian and at the 4th and 5th phosphodized bond on the 3' prime side. URD is a helicase, also called helicase 2, that helps to unwind the DNA to allow release of the single strand between the two cuts. The resulting gap is The key enzyme is made up of three subunits, products of the UVRA, UVRB and UVRC genes and is called ABC exinuclease. ABC exinuclease binds to DNA at the site of a lesion and cleaves the damaged strand at the 8th phosphodized bond on the 5th, 5 prime site of the lesion and at the 4th or 5th phosphodized bond on the 3 prime site. UVRD is a helicase, also called helicase 2 and helps to unwind the DNA to allow release of the single strand between the two cuts. The resulting gap is filled by DNA polymerase 1 and sealed by ligase. In humans, seroderma pigmentosum and cocaine syndrome are cocaine, cocaine syndrome are caused by genetically defective nucleotide excision repair. Seroderma pigmentosum, rare inherited disease, is mainly characterized by the inability of skin cells to repair UV induced DNA lesions. Pyrimidine dimer. Individuals suffering from the, this autosomal recessive condition are extremely sensitive to sunlight. And mismatch repair. Mismatch repair system can detect mismatches that occur in DNA repair replication. So, enzyme system involved in mismatch repair recognize mismatched base pairs, determine which base is the mismatch is the correct one, excise the incorrect base and carry out repair synthesis. The repair must be made in the daughter polynucleotide because it is this newly synthesized strand that error has occurred. The parent polynucleotide has the correct sequence. How does the repair process know which strand is which? When mismatch occurred during replication in E. coli, it is possible to distinguish the original strands of DNA. Immediately after replication of methylated DNA, only the original parental strand carries the methyl groups in the period when while the newly synthesized strand awaits the introduced introduction of methyl groups the two strands can be distinguished the e coli the answer is that daughter strand is at this stage in un under methylated and can therefore be distinguished from the parent polynucleotide which has a full complement of methyl groups so mismatch place the dna helicase 2 plus exonuclease 1 dna polymerase 3 dna helicase long patch mismatch repair in e coli e coli dna is methylated because of active of DNA adenine methylase which converts adenine to 6 methyl adenines in the sequence 5 prime GATC 3 prime and the DNA cytosine methylase which converts cytosine to 5 methyl cytosine and 5 prime CCA GG 3 prime. The methylations are not mutagenic and the modified nucleotides having the same base pair properties are the unmodified versions where are delay between DNA replication and methylation of the daughter strand and it is using this window of opportunity that the repair system scans the DNA for mismatches and makes the required corrections in the untermethylated daughter strand. There are three mismatch pair systems in E. coli on the basis of relative lengths of the unmethylated strand excised and repaired by components of repair system. These are characterized as long patch, short patch and very short patch. The E. coli, the long patch system involves three mutant proteins coded by the mutant genes. These mutant proteins are MUTH, MUTL and MUTS. Recognition of the sequence GATC and the mismatch are character specialized functions of the MUTH and MUTS proteins respectively. The role of MUTL is not clear. The MUTH protein plays the unmethylinated strand on the 5' prime slide of, side of the G in the GATC, GATC sequence. The combined action of DNA helicase 2 and exonuclease 1 then removes a segment of the new strand between the cleavage site and the point just beyond the mismatch. The resulting gap is filled by the DNA polymerase 3 and the nick is sealed by DNA helicase. So, SOI's response. Many cells have mechanisms that enable them to synthesize DNA enzyme repair enzymes as an emergency response to severe DNA damage. The best studied example is the XOIS response in E. coli. The XOIS response is a coordinated cellular response in E. coli and it's in the, the SOS response is a coordinated cellular response in E. coli and aids in the survival of the organism by affecting the expression of proteins that are involved in cell division, replication, recombination and excision repair.
The SOS response genes are induced when the bacterial chromosome is extensively damaged. Many are involved in DNA repair and mutagenesis. The basic mechanism of regulation is relatively simple. The key regulatory elements are the repressors called Lex A repressor and the Lex A protein. In E. coli, any block to DNA replication caused by DNA damage produces a signal that activates the E. coli Rec A protein. Activation of Rec A causes autocatalytic proteolytic cleavage of the Lex A repressor. Cleavage occurs at a specific ALA GLY peptide bond. The Lex A repressor regulates the transcription of all of the SOS genes. Lex A repressor is SOS response genes by binding to 20 base pair stretch of DNA called the SOS box. When the genome is subjected to heavy damage through exposure to UV light or a DNA damaging re reagent, DNA repair becomes sufficiently less accurate and a high mutation rate is observed. Higher levels of DNA damage effectively bring normal DNA replication to halt in E. coli because normal DNA replication with the DNA polymerase 3 cannot proceed past many types of DNA lesions. Rec A also triggers cleavage of other cellular targets. M UMUD protein, UMU for UV mutagenesis. The UMUD protein is cleaved when Rec A is activated. The cleavage event activated in UMUD and the error prone repair system. The current model for the reaction is the UMUD to UMUDC complex binds to Rec A filament near a site of damage. Rec A activates the complex by cleaving UMUD to generate MU, UMUD and the complex UMUD2 for DNA polymerase V then synthesizes stretch of DNA to replace the damaged material because proper base pairing is often impossible at the site of the lesion. This translation replication is error prone. DNA polymerase V, a Y family DNA polymerase, BAC3 prime to 5 prime proofreading exonuclease activity, also known as error prone DNA polymerase.